I came here in 1967 on snowmobiles with one of the original owners and uh, never left. Been here ever since. I started skiing here in 1968 and I remember it was all about families. It was built by the community and through the years, 50 years now, it's been supported by the community. It's about kids growing up here and being able to enjoy like a safe environment. You can let your kids run free. There are many, many people who have had the chance of growing up here and now they're married and having children and introducing Mount Baldy to their, to their little ones. Our whole family skis and so she sees, you know, grandma and grandpa, mommy and daddy and auntie all going out in their ski gear and so it's going to be a part of our life. The 80-somethings and even 90-somethings are still skiing with their kids all around them. You just don't see that anywhere else. There's a, a great volunteer spirit here. I'm in the uh, Disabled Skier Program. We help physically and mentally uh, disabled people to be able to enjoy the, the environment here at Baldy. Baldy Days! Well, I've been volunteering as a snowshoe guide for 14 years since I retired. And I take women on Mondays out on the snowshoe trails, just feel the experience of Mount Baldy and all that it has to offer. We just love it. We're the Baldy Babes. You know, one of the interesting things when you look back at Baldy history is there's been at least probably four or five times where various entrepreneurs have come to town with big plans and big dreams and they want to turn it into the mega resort. And one of the things we've heard from the local community is the biggest reason why all of them thus far have not really panned out is that they've kind of gone in a different direction from the community. It's all about community values and sustainability because the community's always been there to help. They've kept the ski hill alive, they created it in the beginning, and now they're involved in the development of it. It's really taking kind of baby steps as we go forward. You know, our goal is not to go up and put four high-speed quads up next year, but rather, let's go slow and steady till we can get this place to a financially sustainable place, and then once we get there, then we can start thinking about growing forward from there. We love our mountain, we're really fiercely protective of it and we understand that uh, you know we need to get people up here for it to be sustainable but for some reason or another we've managed to keep it going just through the passion of the people that work here and spend time here and volunteer here. We've kept it going for 50 years which is quite an accomplishment. That's the camaraderie I think that you find and everybody just gathers together and skis together and eats together and we just share our lives together on the mountain.